All right, fellas, I'm going to cut you a little installation video for the grill lights for the 2020 through 2022. Um, this applies for F-150, F-250, uh, pretty much all the models of the Ford. Um, it's, it's real simple. I mean, I get a lot of requests for this, but I, I'm kind of surprised. But, you know, I understand that you're trying to order something and you want to know how difficult it is to install. Um, as far as removing the grill, you know, you can YouTube it. You can see how easy it is to remove. I really don't have a newer installation video or a remo grill removal video, um, but you know, you can find those plentifully everywhere. The grill lights have changed a lot. Um, it's anodized aluminum now. Um, there's been a lot of improvements since they first came out. Um, we do have a LED dimmer box to where you can control the brightness of the light. Um, and honestly, We've had really good luck with them. Um, we found out that the degree of the grill um, is pretty much the same uh, from 2020 to 2022. Uh, early 2020, there was a little difference, and I'm gonna show you. Uh, there's a support bar right here on the grill that is one inch from the end on the early 2020s. Now, mid, later 2020s, that support bar went from an inch to an inch and three quarters over which kind of messed us up a little bit because we thought they were all the same, but they weren't. I started getting some kickback saying, hey, you know, they don't fit, but um, probably three. There's not very many of these grills and the prototype that we bought happened to be one of those grills. So the installation is the same, but if you got a 2020, I'm probably gonna request a picture of that support bar so we make sure that you get, you get the right fit. Um, and then I'm gonna show you a close up of that so that you know exactly what I'm talking about. And then I'm gonna flip it around and I'm gonna show you the backside of how this bar mounts in. Um, like I said, it's, it's super simple. Um, you know, there's one on the top and one on the bottom and you just pop them in and put the studs in and there's a backing plate and you're good to go. So let's flip this thing around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, I, I think you can see pretty good. Um, you know, all you do is pop the wire through, set the light in place, And then there is an installation kit, a little sick diesel installation kit. In that kit, you have lock nuts, uh, some buck connectors, and two backing plates per light. So grab one of these. You take that backing plate, put it over the studs. It allows it to pinch the grill support bar, and they put the lock nuts on it, and you're done. I mean, this is a, this is a garage installation. It's super simple. Um, I think you'll be, I think you'll be happy with how easy it goes in and you won't really have uh, any complications that I know of. Um, we sell hundreds of these things and uh, we never really get anything unless uh, the guy just don't even know how to pull his grill off. But that can happen. So um, let me show you the support bar up close and then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about on that. But it only applies to the early 2020s. Other than that, you're good to go. All right, guys, this is the support bar I'm talking about. It's right there. It's real simple uh, to measure. Um, you can tell me if it's one inch, or you can tell me if it's inch and three quarters, or you can email me a picture of it. Um, that's, that's it. You're good to go. See, guys, how easy that is. I mean, it's really not much to it. Um, we do have that LED control box. It will lower the brightness of the bar down. Uh, I would say if you had an F-150-22, lariat with the power bar it's worth getting the controller um, or if you just want to bring these down a level to where uh, you feel like maybe they're too bright and you want to lower them down the, the led control box is definitely a, a cool thing to have um, but stay tuned we got a lot more new products coming out for 2023 even probably before that um, some diesel events we just stay connected through instagram TikTok. there'll be a lot of new stuff on youtube um, and also if you ever have any issues with the light, a 100% stand behind anything we ship out. And if I get, I've even had customers damage them themselves and I shoot them a new set. Um, it's important that everyone is satisfied and you can, you'll hear from a lot of our customers or the ones that rave about it. Um, we 100% stand behind them. So don't worry about that. Uh, this new anodized frame is really sweet um, and they're just gonna get better. So stay tuned and uh, we've got a lot of great things coming.